Okay, I'm doing this video to uh, try to help others. I'm not very good at these um, videos, but uh, I had uh, OCD as a child, <clears throat> and it was real bad. Um, the, the common things were I had to touch things a certain amount of times, or I had to touch certain things. Uh, when I was batting in baseball, I had to have the label of the bat facing a certain way, or I wouldn't get a hit, or something bad would happen. I had to touch my knees a certain amount of times, or I'd have bad luck on the baseball field. Uh, there were a number of different things. I had a feature number of the day, you know, so like five would be the feature number, and that, that, given that feature number, I have to think of that, about that. I have to do things in fives. Uh, six became very unlucky, so anything, I couldn't do anything in sets of six. So we had to use different numbers than six. If I was lifting weights or if I was doing something, uh, I had to do something uh, in a number other than six. So, uh, and that lasted uh, into my teenage years. Um, but the way I got rid of it, and this is hopefully will be helpful to people with OCD, is, um, and this sounds really crazy, maybe crazier than the OCD, but it really helped me. Um, I thought of the OCD uh, impulses as something outside myself. I thought of them as like some uh, awful being, like some evil thing that was forcing these thoughts into my head. Uh, and I sort of externalized that. So when I, whenever I had a thought, I thought, well, you know, that, that evil SOB is trying to make me do this. And uh, I would go against it, even though I knew it was going to be scary to do so, or I, I thought there might be bad consequences. Um, I went against it and I just thought, well, in your face, you know, I'm going to do uh, do things the way I want to do it, and I'm not going to um, do this behavior. And each time I did that, I felt like the the um, uh, the urge became less. So I, you know, each time I broke the cycle um, and I did something other than what my OCD wanted me to do, uh, it was less scary, and it was uh, the next time there would be less urges. It seemed like it just diminished as as I broke the cycle, and I just um, the reason I started trying to do this and break the cycle is that uh, it was destroying my life. It just made me look like an ass, like when I was touching stuff and touching things five times and sitting there and doing all these rituals. I looked like a total idiot. So, uh, so I figured, well, how bad really can it be, other than what it already is? I mean, I already looked really bad. So, how much bad luck can it bring if I don't do those rituals? It's got to help not doing them in terms of the way I look. So. Uh, I <clears throat> just continued to do that, and I just thought of it. I um, uh, thought of that being as like just the just that evil sort of uh, thing out there, and uh, and I just wanted to defeat it as much as I could, and I kept uh, working that uh, system, and eventually, I don't know how long it took, but eventually it, it uh, they became nothing, and I just didn't have them. And then whenever those urges or impulses would crop up here and there, I would just break them and just be like, I'm going to break this in your face. I'm not going to let this defeat me, and uh, and then, you know, as I broke it, it just, it, as you break it, it becomes um, uh, no longer a pattern. You start to, 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 to break away from those thoughts and needing to do things as patterns, so they become nothing. They just kind of dissipate. So, um, so that's the best way. Again, externalize, the, um, externalize those thoughts, those uh, impulses. Think of them as something else, something outside of yourself. And just look to defeat that, and, and and just be in your face. You know, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to let you defeat me. You know, and, and just each time you work hard to break that, it becomes easier and easier, and eventually it's gone. So um, I really am putting this video out to help people, and I hope uh, it's helped somebody. And uh, if you can comment, and let me know um, if it worked for you, if you're, or if it helped you. I think it can help. Uh, fairly severe people because it was almost every second of the day that I had these impulses, so I was pretty severe and never had any psychological help or support or anything. So, um, so I hope this helps and uh, let me know, you know, give me feedback uh, on what you think. Thanks.